Baby, good soul music, baby. And speaking of soul, I sat down with two soul brothers from Brooklyn. Do live, baby. Let's go check them out right now. Yeah, this one here is for the riders. Dollar Bear riders. Subway riders. Ron riders. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, this is the politician Booby Smooth. I'm sitting here with Dual Live, two people, brothers, strong commodities from Bed Stuy, Brooklyn, New York City. What's going on, brother? Introduce yourself to the people, man. Yeah, yeah MC Free, one half of Dual Live. Yeah, DJ Sid V, live in the area. That's what's next. Now, you guys are like underground artists, some people would say, but you're doing some big things out of your trunk. Talk about that. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So, you know, we've been doing this for a long time. Sold over 250,000 copies in the streets, all indie, straight off the ground. And now we got a new album coming out October 9th. It's called A Color of Money. First single is called Princess, featuring the boy Fabulous. So, it's getting real big. It's getting crazy. What kind of sound do you have? If you, have, if you had to describe your sound to somebody, what kind of sound would you say it is? Uh, we call it Rasta Rap. It's got a heavy, heavy Caribbean influence, you know, street hip-hop with a Caribbean influence. We like the Bob Marley and the Whalers in this hip-hop. We study the times and the, you know, times in the live of His Imperial Majesty. Mm. You know, we incorporate that in our music as well as our Caribbean influences. You know, our families both from the Caribbean as well as the South. We put that in our music and that makes through a lip. Just by the vocabulary, vocabulary uh -huh. that you're using mm -hmm. tells me that you're not talking about guns and violence oh, no, and sex and all that. What are you talking about? Wow, this particular album is called The Color of Money and it's like a social economic syllabus for the hood. You know what I mean? How to, you know, make money and hold on to it and you know how to monopolize it. Yo, that's heavy in itself at a time where crime and rap and all that's accepted, man. Why are you going up against the grain, as some would say? Oh, I mean, because you know, we just, you know, we just, you know, we from the community. We just like positive role models in the community. We just try to show people, you know, like you said earlier, we sold 200,000 CDs just hand hand CDs, you know what I mean? You can show people in the hood that, you know, you can do positive and still make money and still do these things. And now, not the stereotype, but when I hear bed star, I'm not thinking somebody talking about economics when they rhyming. What was that about? Right. You know what's funny though? Biggie used to talk about getting money. Mm. You know what I mean? So if you do the knowledge, we just follow the trend. We really not even, exactly. We're not even going against the grain. We're actually going with the grain just with a twist on it. Trying to get the kids off the corner. Show them you can have some pencils. You can have some anything. You know, Color Money time. So the album's called Color Money. It starts October 9th. Go get that paper, get that money, and cop that album. That's heavy. Where'd you get the name Dual Lib from? Where's that uh, name come from? Well, you know, we from Bed Stuy, Brooklyn. The motto, you know, is Bed Stuy, Do or Die. And, you know, at the time, we used to call ourselves Do or Die, being there's two of us, a duo coming from Bed Stuy. But, you know, in 2000, we decided to flip that, put a positive edge on it, hence Duo Lib. No duo die, duo live. Very intelligent, man. It seems like something I want to listen to and want my children to listen to, man. Duo live, man. It's what it is. I'm the politician. <laughs> Things are going to change around here, man. And we out. <laughs>